Hello everyone, in this video I would like to talk about Wiglot and the language switcher. There are several options that you can do to change the location of the language switcher of Wiglot. And basically here in the WordPress website, as we installed Wiglot, the default location is on the right lower side. But in case that we want to make some changes, we can go to the Wiglot tab. And here we can do the changes of the language switcher, but mainly here we have the design. So if we want it to be a drop down with or without flags, the type of how the flag should look like, the name, or if it's a short name. If you want to do some CSS changes, you can also do it by adding here. Also, Wiglot has a set of examples on her on their website that you can use. I will leave also the link in the description if you want to check out the examples. But also, it's important to tell that your default settings on your theme in WordPress will also have an effect on how the language switcher will look like. Here on WordPress, we can either add it on the directly on the menu. So if we go here to appearance, we will have here the main menu that we have set up. Here is the top of that Wiglot switcher and we can add it to the menu. So we just save and here we have here on the lower right side so we just update and we have it up here but as you can see here there is a flag uh, covering the text so it's also depends on what is the style that you already have on your menu so in this case it will be recommended to remove the flag and as we update, we will just have the text. Another option is to have it side by side. So we can just deselect the drop down and save. And as we update, we have the two languages here. As we add more languages, they will be appearing to the next side. Also, if we want to set it in other part of the website, and if we have already Elementor, we can do it directly with a short code. Or, so if we want to add it to Elementor, we can copy the short code, go to the edit section of the header. And let's say that we want an upper bar here in the header section. We can just click. We can also add a text directly. And we can add the language switcher. We'll have the English German. And a uh, lower painting. We can add also some background color. We can update and going back to the design section, we can add the flags. Let's add it a circle and let's remove remove the names. If we go back to the main website, we have it here, the language options. If we go back to the Wiglot dashboard, and as we go to the home section, and to the translation by languages, we can add another language. Let's add, for example, French. And let's go back here to the main website. Let's update. 
now we have the French flag and in this way we can be adding more languages as well if we want to change the flag we can go here to the settings area and we will have here in the language switcher the option to change the flag here for in case of German if we want to change it to Switzerland we can do the change and also we can restore to the main settings and we will have down here the changes again of that language switcher so these are some options to do the wiggle language switcher changes here in wordpress it can either be by elementor shortcode or also do via css but that will require some more coding so it will depend on what fits more your needs also consider that if you add it here in the menu it will take the already pre-established design of the menu if you have some questions some comments don't hesitate to write down thanks for watching Thank you.